I don't know if it means anything, but the ball check valve, I put a little um, engine assembly lube in there to hold these balls in, and then according to the manual, it looks like it's okay to do that. Um, uh, uh, but this one didn't have any, seem like anywhere. Oh, you can see the little ridge. There's almost nowhere on the ridge. Or if you look at this ridge right there, you can see it. It looks a little bit chewed up, and it gets even worse. That one's covered up. You can't, can't see so well, but it's got uh, quite a V in it. And then that one you can hopefully see. So that's the back side, and then the, the other side, it actually had little fragments. Yeah, you can see that it's, this is a little triangular shaped instead of squared. Going back to the one that's squared. See how that's squared? And that's triangular shaped. It even had some little uh, metal fragments in there that I, uh, oh wow, that cleared up. Uh, some little metal fragments in there that I was able to um, uh, pull out with the tweezers uh, just to clean it up a little bit. I'm sure it's fine for my use on it right now but uh, then also you can see on the plates here where the ball check valves are. Uh, you can see uh, it doesn't really show up in the light but that one seems it's war. Yeah you can see it a little bit. It's war down a bit. Oh, this one's really worn. You can see the see how it's oval shaped there. It should just be straight round. And now this one, where'd it go? There it is. That one you can tell the ball's gone up and down in it a little bit, but it does I don't think it's too bad. But I'm not a pro. Then uh, the final one you can see it's got a big oval shape in it too. I should probably replace this plate, but uh, since these are, I don't have to tear the pull the engine out to fix this later. I can work on this some other time. I want to get this back together so I can get on the road. But uh, I can work on that another time.